Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to use the PAL Salt Digital Handheld Pocket Salt Meter, including how to perform a zero setting, how to take a measurement, how to prepare a sample dilution, and how to set an offset. First, an overview of the meter. On the top of the meter, there's the sample stage and the salt sensor. Below is the backlit LCD. Around the LCD you will find the range of the device, and then measurement parameter, that's percentage salt. There's two easy to navigate multifunction buttons below. These are start and zero. At the bottom between the NFC logo and the pocket logo is the approximate location of the NFC tag. On the base there's a lanyard hole and the battery compartment. And lastly on the back there's the device serial number. To get started press start to switch on the meter. The screen will display the battery status, the temperature and the current measurement. We recommend performing a zero setting on a daily basis. It's quick, easy, and ensures your PAL salt is performing accurately. To do this, clean the sensor and sample stage thoroughly. You can use a mild soap. Rinse well with water, then completely dry the area using tissues. Once clean and dry, press the start button with nothing on the sensor. Three dashes will appear as the device measures, shortly followed by the measurement. If the measurement is 0.00, .00 the instrument is zero set correctly, and it's ready to perform salt percentage measurements. If the device is reading above zero, press the zero key. Triple zero will blink on the screen twice and then remain. Zero setting is complete. For samples below 6% bricks and 10% salt, you can take measurements directly. To take a measurement, apply the sample to be measured onto the sample stage. Ensure there is at least 0.6 mils of sample. Then press start. The measurement will be displayed within a matter of seconds. Some samples will require a dilution to be prepared. If the sample is less than 6% bricks and less than 10% salt, there's no dilution necessary. For liquid condiments, over 6% bricks, over 10% salt and high in non-salt components, as well as pastes, you'll need to make a dilution. Examples of these liquid condiments and pastes include soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, miso, mayonnaise and tomato sauce. Solid foods will need to have a dilution made too. For these, you'll need to mince and grind the sample, then make the dilution. For this example, we're going to make a 10% dilution. To make a dilution, you'll need a clean glass or beaker, something to stir and move the solution. We are using a pipette, water, a scale, and your sample to be diluted. Apply your clean glass or beaker to the scale and press tear. Add 10 grams of your sample. Then add 90 grams of water. You can either tear the scale again or total it to 100 grams. Stir until the sample is completely dissolved. Let the dilution sit for a minute. Then take the measurement the same as you usually would. Apply at least six mils of sample to the sensor and press start. The measured value will appear on the LCD. As we've made a 10% dilution, the reading on the screen must be multiplied by 10, the dilution factor. So for 0.24, we times that by 10, it's 2.4%. So the actual salt concentration within our measured sample is 2.4%. If you intend to always dilute your sample using the same ratio, you can input a coefficient of 10 so that the device will always multiply your measured sample by 10. To do this, hold down the zero key with the device switched on for about five seconds. A small B will appear on the LCD. Press start to move through the options until the small A appears on the LCD. Here is where you can enter your coefficient. To set it to 10, 
that is 10 times the measured value for our dilution factor of 10, press zero until 10 appears on the LCD. Then press start to save. All the digits will flash to save the set coefficient. Once saved, end will appear on the LCD. Now, when we apply the sample to the stage and press start to take a measurement, OFS will appear while the device is reading, indicating the offset feature is in use. Then the measured value will display. As you can see, this has automatically been multiplied by 10 and our resulting value is 2.43 as seen on the screen. And that's how to set up and use the PAL Salt digital handheld pocket salt meter. For more information on this salt tester, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.